Ignoring the noise, the power of turning a deaf ear. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're exploring an intriguing phrase that often pops up in conversations, literature, and even in professional settings, turning a deaf ear. Stick with us to uncover the depths of this expression, its origins, and how you can use it effectively in your daily communication. Let's embark on this linguistic journey together. Turning a deaf ear is a phrase that paints a vivid picture with just a few words. But what does it actually mean? To turn a deaf ear to something is to deliberately ignore or refuse to acknowledge a request, advice, or any form of communication. It's like pretending not to hear what someone is saying, choosing instead to overlook their words. This expression is often used when someone is being stubborn or wishes to avoid dealing with a particular issue or person. The origins of the phrase, turn a deaf ear, are somewhat murky, as is the case with many idiomatic expressions. However, it's widely agreed that the phrase has been in use for centuries, rooted in the literal action of not listening to someone by metaphorically turning a deaf ear towards them. Over time, it has evolved to represent the act of ignoring someone or something, not just in the physical sense but also in decision-making and emotional responses. Incorporating Turning a deaf ear into your language repertoire can add depth to your communication, especially when discussing situations involving neglect or intentional ignorance. Here are a few examples to help you understand how to use the phrase effectively. Despite the public outcry, the government turned a deaf ear to the demands for reform. He turned a deaf ear to his friend's advice and continued making the same mistakes. As the debate heated up, she turned a deaf ear to the criticism and stood by her beliefs. While turning a deaf ear is a versatile expression, it's crucial to consider the context in which you use it. This phrase can convey a strong stance of ignoring or disregarding something important, so it's essential to ensure that its use does not unintentionally offend or misrepresent your intentions. Like any idiomatic expression, it reflects not just the literal meaning of the words but also cultural nuances and emotional undertones. Thank you for joining us as we explored the meaning, origins, and usage of the phrase, turning a deaf ear. We hope this video has enlightened you and added a new layer to your understanding of the English language. Remember, language is not just about words but the stories and emotions they convey. Keep learning, keep exploring, and don't forget to turn a keen ear to the fascinating world of language around you. See you in our next video.